do you want to know? Hi, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Hello mga ka-journey, it's me once again. For today's video, I would like to give you some updates of the UAE law. Because you know, kung yung pa po ako, you haven't known me or hindi pa nakasubscribe sa akin. I've been here in UAE for 17 years. Isa po akong expat, you know, OFW sa Abu Dhabi, UAE. So for tonight, for today, <laughs> I will be sharing you the good news. You know, especially to our kababayans from the Philippines who want to come here to work here in Abu Dhabi or in UAE. Ano ba yung mga rules dito na nabago? Since uh, only here in November yata, in November na implement itong yung mga rules na ito and some kind of good news talaga para sa ating lahat, not only for kababayans but also for, from all the expats living here, working here in UAE. So ngayon po, mga kabayan, since nasa Abu Dhabi naman ako, di ba? Ito yung capital city ng UAE. Ito po yung mayaman. Joke. <laughs> update ko kayo ng mga laws. Bibigyan ko kayo ng ani na nadagdag na o na bago. And the, the first law, eh, sorry ha, kasi syempre meron akong kodigo. Kaya paano, baka, kasi naman alam nyo naman, baka diba, disclaimer, diba, kasi syempre. So, ang number one is the Good Samaritan Law. And the Good Samaritan Law has allowing bystanders to offer aid in medical emergencies without fear of legal consequences has been approved by the Ministry of Health. So, ibig sabihin yan. For example, uh, kasi before, um, kunyari may nang-accidente or may nakita kayo, hindi po pwedeng napitan o hindi siya pwedeng galawin kasi you will be punished by law or you will be respond, help be responsible. So, ngayon, nagkaroon na siya ng changes. So, pwede na. So, ang ganda, diba? Because parang ang aim is to boost survival rates dito sa UAE. Kasi syempre, diba? Pag, naka, pag nakapag-offer tayo ng medical aid, so, pwede natin masurvive yung, yung, yung pasyente o yung iba, yung, yung tao. And the good thing here then is, whatever happened dun sa person na, na nabigyan ng, eh, ng emergency aid or medical aid, you will not be responsible whatever happened, kung anong manangyari sa kanya after giving the aid, hindi ka na po responsible po on. So that's the good thing for Good Samaritan. The law will ensure Good Samaritans who intervene where people are in need. O yun, sa mga nakatagang emergency cannot be liable for what happens to the person they help. O diba, kahit anong manangyari sa kanya after the, after the help, eh, okay na po. You will not be liable or responsible ba, uh, sa loob natin dito sa UAE. So, good thing. Diba? Yan ang number one natin na ano. And the number two, number two po ay ang, um, what is the number two? Number two there, suicide. Aray? Suicide. Suicide and attempted suicide will be this decriminalized. Kasi unlike before, when I was new here, diba, when you get, when you get, um, when you attempted suicide and you survive, you will be punished by law. Diba? Kasi yun, yun nga, kasi nga, bawal, bawal talaga dito. It's haram diba, talaga sa kanila. But now, because of this law, when you, when you attempt, when somebody attempted, the, 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 the government will offer a mental health support. Parang bibigyan nila ng support. O diba, mas maganda, mental health support for that person or for that victim who attempted suicide. So, very good news, no? Wag na natin scrutinize yung suicide kasi parang hindi magandang ano, no? But, of course, only God can took away our lives. Siya lang talaga yung pwede. Sa, sa mga kababayan, don't, don't, don't ever, ever, whatever happens, whatever the challenges, wag po natin gawin yung suicide. And, the number three law, updated by law, uh, sorry for, uh, meron ako kasi yung ano, meron ako kasi akong ano, kodigo sa aking, sa aking cellphone. So, number three law, alcohol consumption is no longer a criminal offense. So, hindi na siya criminal offense. So, wow. Uh, RH pa dyan. Diba? RS mga kabayan natin. Tabi-tabi uh, dyan. Diba? Red horse pa more. Ganun. Just go. Just joking. Uh, alcohol consumption, it can only be consumed privately or in licensed public places. So, ibig sabihin, yung alcohol consumption, pwede natin yun sa bahay, di ba? When there is celebration, di ba? Alam naman tayo mga Pinoy, party-party tayo, so pwede yan. Or sa mga public, public licensed places, like sa mga hotels, when you go to the hotels, di ba? May mga bar dyan, so pwede dyan. Basta tago yung resibo, di ba? Ganun yun eh. And of course, syempre meron pa rin limit sa age, kasi here in the UAE, the legal age to drink is 
21. So, dapat 21 ka, ha? Not below 21 kasi syempre still prohibited sa mga teenager. So, yun. So, good news talaga sa ating mga kababayan yung mga bagong rule. And the next rule is the where is my Código Pinal? The, 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 the next rule is the very, very good news po sa ating lahat. Ha? Alam nyo na yun, ano? Alam nyo ba kung bakit? Kasi ito kasi yung next rule is the excuse me? Ano <laughs> nyo sa akin? Sorry naman na. Ko, so, sorry po, sorry to. Cohabitations for unmarried couples. That's good news. Cohabitations. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng cohabitations? Yung pagsasama, di ba? Yung magsasama kayo dito, tapos hindi pa rin kayo married. So, cohabitations. Unmarried couples can now legally live together. So, ayan. So, good news yan din sa ating mga kababayan na nandito na sa UAE na unmarried pa. Tapos, nagsasama sila. So, wala na silang worry, di ba? O kaya may boyfriend and girlfriend na nandito rin na although hindi sila magkasama sa bahay but nandito sila together so pwede na silang mag live together kasi nga because of the law ang sabi nga unmarried couples can now legally live together so napaka, napaka good news po yan sa ating mga kababayan na nandito na at sa ating di mga kababayan sa Pilipinas na gustong pumunta dito sa UAE magtrabaho dito, couple sila unmarried pa sila, boyfriend girlfriend sila good news for them para wala nang, wala nang problema kasi before talaga po, bawal talaga magsama, mix sa isang room pag hindi kayo family or hindi kayo related sa isa't isa. Unlike magkapatid, mag-asawa, magpipinsan, kailangan talaga related kayo. But now, so, syempre dati naman may mga Uh, may mga talaga nagsa-checking. Meron daw talaga nagsusumbong. Meron talagang checking or ano, ah, talagang pag may nagsumbong, uh, alam mo na yung mga, alam mo na yung may mga extra curricular activity. Cha! Charot! Kinemi! Go! Please! ba diba? <laughs> Kaya yan. Nako! Mga kam ka-journey. Yan ang good news talaga. So, yun, wala na kayong worries. Wala na kayong ano dito, fear na mm, may mahuhuli kayo or may magsusumbong sa inyo kasi it's already allowed by the Okay? So, no worries na kayo. Kaya yung mga pumunta rito na mag-boyfriend, girlfriend, happy na. Hindi na kailangan maghiwalay kayo sa isang flat or sa isang ano. Pwede na kayong magsama together. That's the good thing. ba? Diba? Mm, in a way, maganda rin naman po yun. Kasi nga, ba? Diba, para at least naiiwasan na rin yung mga mga kineme, churba lo. <laughs> Hello! Ayko. And the next one, <laughs> may ba tayo? Basta yun na, good news yan sa mga unmarried, unmarried couple. So, the next one, after ng ating cohabitants, is the divorce. Ab Ay, divorce. Parang ano ko doon na, chuk, chuk, chuk. Divorce. Sabi <laughs> ganun eh. <laughs> Ngayon, ito namang divorce. Uh, something, ano, ganito na lang yun. Hindi ko na masyadong i- discuss in details. Basta, sabihin ko na lang ganito. Huwag na natin masyadong scrutinize ang divorce. Basta, kung kinasal po kayo sa Pilipinas, you've been married in the Philippines, and then, you file a divorce here in UA, in the UAE, the law pa rin na susundin is yung sa Pilipinas, kung saan kayo kinasal. Okay? And then, regardless of all of the properties, syempre kung may mga properties kayo sa Pilipinas, dun pa rin masusunod sa law ng Philippine. But, may exception, unless otherwise, you have the, you acquire properties here in the UAE, uh, yan po yung, uh, yan yung under, under the law. One exception to this is the property purchase in the UAE. Yan po yung, which will be still be managed under UAE law. So, yun ang masusunod. Tama? So, yun. Kaya, yung magpapadivorce dyan, ay di sa Pilipinas pa rin po. Kung kinasal kayo sa Pilipinas, dito kayo mag-file ng divorce, susundin po natin yung sa Philippines. Okay? And, except lang sa mga properties na na-acquire nyo dito sa UAE. And then, the next, after the divorce, the last law is the, what you call this? Sorry. The court the courts law, the uh, legislation, courts, ganyan, 
if you have uh, like you have a case you have to you may mga case kayong ganyan so the court must provide a translator for defendants and witnesses who don't speak Arabic. Uh, that's very, very good news, di ba? Siyempre, kasi dati, pag, di ba, pag meron kang case, ang hirap, no? Ang hirap ang mag-defense kasi wala kang translator, lalo, especially for mga expat na katulad natin, mga kababayan natin, we cannot speak Arabic fluently. So, we we need a translator. So, they will now provide you with, I think, free yung, ano na yun, yung, hindi ko lang, disclaimer po. Baka parang alam ko, basta magpo-provide sila ng translator for you para ma-defend naman. Ma-defend yung mga witness says yung as I said earlier diba so yun na yun so diba mga kamaka journey ang gaganda ng mga na update na loan natin ngayon dito sa UAE so I'm so happy na oh, parang slowly but surely na nagiging open so sobra nagiging open na sila dito sa mga laws na ganyan kasi nga alam naman natin very strict po especially Abu Dhabi ito yata yung pinaka strict ng Emirates sa buong UAE ganito biglang ganyan diba so but with this uh, new updates na na-share ko sa inyo I just hope uh, naka-help ako ng konti for those people lalo na outside this outside the UAE sa mga kababayan natin sa Pilipinas who would like to come here and uh, you know try 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 to work here in Abu Dhabi so I'll be sharing you more of our updates regarding sa mga susunod ko din mga kasi alam niyo naman random lang ako mag ano random lang ako mag-content. I, I still don't know the niche kasi hinahanap ko pa rin kung saan mas marami tayong viewer, kung saan tayo mag-click but since I am an OFW and I'm an expat here in UAE and for 17 years, ang dami ko na rin na experience dito. So, I would like to share slowly kung ano po yung mga buhay namin dito sa Abu Dhabi. So, with this kind of you know update, at least, kaya pa paano meron kayong halaman or nang natuwa din kayo sa mga balita, di ba, sa mga ganap ngayon. So, yun. So, I would like, before I end up, of course, kung nagustuhan nyo naman itong video na to, kung, kung nagustuhan, if you like this video, please naman comment down below. Or you can ask something, you can ask, you can comment. If you if you feel like, you know, you have uh, some questions or additional to this the, the, this topic that I had just discussed with you, feel free po to comment below. And if you didn't yet subscribe to my channel, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell icon for more updates and upcoming videos of mine so with that thank you thank you for watching um to god be the glory thank you so much till next update thank you babush bye